libreprogramming.org so to continue with our examples this time I have got uh, an example in which we'll try to find out whether two circles uh, intersect or not whether they are concentric or not uh, if uh, whether they are congruent or not you might remember these things from your geometry classes from your high school or maybe a junior school so put some stress on your brain and uh, uh, try to remember those things if you have forgotten so we have got six variables these should have been ideally floats but for simplicity I have taken integers now x1 and y1 are coordinates of first circle center of uh, coordinates of center of first circle and uh, r1 is radius x2 y2 are uh, coordinate of uh, uh, center of first cir uh, second circle and r2 is radius of second circle so you scan those now we compute the distance between uh, two centers now this uh, formula is actually square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square so how you compute this uh, in C is you use SQRT function which is available in math and uh, to raise to power 2 you use a power function that is x1 minus x2 comma 2 this is the power and this is the base so this is your exponent one which comes after comma and one before comma is uh, your base so we compute in this sense and then we do plus to so see how the code is arranged take a look on syntax carefully and then we compute this sum of radius so <clears throat> and then you see I have got if and else now this is certainly more complicated than what we have encountered we have got nested if else okay so I have not told earlier but if and else can be nested while loops can be nested for loops can be nested and for can contain if if can contain for and uh, there is a limitation on how deep you can nest and that's quite big the exact limits I do not remember but it is marked in specification and I have that in my book also on libre programming however you should not ideally nest more than three four levels because if you do that then it becomes difficult to read okay so now we have sum uh, of uh, radius uh, radii and uh, we have the distance between centers so what we do is we run this program and we will have to test this many times so suppose I have a circle at origin with the radius 1 and then I have another circle at uh, uh, 100 100 uh, coordinates and it has another uh, radius 1 so definitely these circles are not going to intersect you see circles will not intersect now let's take another case let's say uh, I have got uh, one uh, at origin uh, with the radius 1 and then I have got another one at x coordinate 2 and uh, y coordinate 0 that is its center is at 2 0 and it also has radius 1 now see these circles should ideally touch each other so yeah they will touch each other so if you draw the diagram you'll see they touch each other now we try to see if uh, how can we test for congruency and uh, uh, the property of circles being uh, concentric so I give uh, same center and uh, same uh, radius so these circles are congruent and they are also intersecting with each other so this is how it flows if distance is less than some rad so it is a, it is getting printed circles intersect and then I say that okay if uh, radii are also equal and distance is zero then they are congruent which is the case in this but if radii are not equal they are only concentric if distance is zero let's try to get the concentric part so zero zero and then radius I'll make different and then you will see this is concentric so you see how the if else blocks control so what happens if this is this if distance is less greater than sum of radii then print this if distance is equal to some radii print this if distance is less than this 
then circles intersect and if uh, this is the case then circles are congruent and so on so this is how you control if else and uh, this is a, a solution of a practical problem of finding uh, the relative position of two circles uh, with respect to each other so this is the second example which i have shown and i'll continue showing examples and uh, my next two examples are going to be famous uh, examples those are fibonacci series and uh, factorial i'll try to cover both the examples in one uh, video or maybe two uh, let's see uh, if i keep it in two then uh, it's easy to watch i mean it's short so i'll try to keep it in two fibonacci and factorial in next two videos till then enjoy happy programming